Today, I will show you how to build your own high quality speaker cables for about six to seven dollars with a very nice oxygen free copper cable made from Japan. So, uh, I did a lot of research actually uh, to kind of select down to what kind of cable to use. My belief in building this cable is to use high quality uh, copper wire from a reputable brand with a spec sheet and use uh, very nice banana plugs that I could find from also a, a well-known company and to have a good rugged construction. And I'll show you how to build everything. So check out the description of the video for the parts list. Also check out my website for additional information on some of the substitutions I made uh, during the process of this build. Okay, so folks, I'll just tell you about the materials real quick. I got myself Canair 4S11 speaker cable. It's in a star quad configuration. So it's got uh, four conductors inside, 14 gauges each. And when you tie them together, you'll get effective 11 gauge uh, conductor. The star quad configuration effectively helps remove some of the electromagnetic interference uh, because of their twisting around each other. Several types of shrink tubing. I went for three to one shrink tube and I got myself some uh, adhesive shrink tube. And with the adhesive sets, uh, the things won't move at all. Some uh, cable braiding, it's a nice snake color and they should make it nice and pretty. And then for connection end, I have selected banana plugs. These are the types that you actually uh, use compression with two screws on each side. So it makes a very nice uh, mechanical connection. I think it's one of the best designs out there. Also, here's a shot of all the tools that I use. I try to keep it as simple as possible. So not to use any special tools or soldering irons and things like that. The most complicated tool in here is wire strippers. Let's make some snakes. Put something heavy on one end. Get your second cable. Match the lengths. So once you cut the cables, make sure the two cables, uh, the lettering kind of matches, goes in the same direction. And for me, uh, this will be the amp end. Let's start with the speaker end. So uh, I'll measure six inches. Get a sharp knife. And what you want to do here is make a uh, just a cut. You want to score it. You see it split. You don't want to cut too deep because you will damage the cable. So go around and then push in a little deeper until you see the white stuff. There you go. So now, just lightly. It's all gonna come apart. Very light pressure. Not even touching it. And there you go. Now the same thing. We'll do a very light scoring. Don't cut through, through the whole thing. Go around up to the end. And then in here, you'll make the cut to the white shield. There you go. And be able to open the whole thing up with some paper and this is cotton take your scissors and cut it out and there you go we strip the wires i like to take my uh, banana and to make sure i strip the correct wire i will insert it and i'll do a mark my marks we will want to cut these a little bit longer when we strip them maybe by 16th i'll show you why later Give them a twist so they're kind of equal. Now I'll uh, strip the ends to the mark and I will strip it just a little longer. If you want right now, you can uh, wear gloves and not touch the copper wire so you don't get any oxidation on it. But uh, I just would go and wash my hands. So now you will uh, retighten these once again. When you get to the end here, get them equal here and uh, twist together. See, I told you to strip them a little longer because when you twist them now, you have this little piece here that you can kind of trim off a little bit so you can get the thicker wire, uh, the thick wire all the way through. As long as you trim both pieces the same amount, uh, you'll be good. They fit perfect. And both screws will catch it. All right. So I will go ahead and fit my bananas right now because my shrink tube is big enough to slide over. Seawell sent, uh, sends a uh, nice little screwdriver with them that you can kind of screw them in, but you don't get a lot of leverage. So I'm gonna use my own. 
Just uh, screw it in as tight as possible. Now we'll measure and cut. If, you're, uh, if you have a heat gun, use it. I have a lighter, not ideal, but it will do. So you want it just a slightly over it, as close as possible to overlapping. To finish off this connection here, so I'll bring in and slide in my um, shielding all the way up to like right about here, and then I'll use the Teflon tape. You gotta push it back, get it in there, and you're gonna have to kind of sneak it in there. Uh, anyways, you get the idea. So I'll get it all the way up to here. And don't cut it yet. Okay, so I uh, snaked it on and uh, I did not cut the shielding. So now I saw this trick online, kind of use this Teflon tape to uh, get it nice and tight here. So you can try to build it up here a little bit so you can get a nice smooth transition. Gives it a little bit more rigidity here. So here comes the adhesive uh, shrink tubing. So it's uh, got uh, heat activated uh, adhesive on the inside. So when it shrinks, the glue melts. It's like hot glue. And when it cools down, it uh, gets stronger and tighter. And this is uh, also a thicker wall. It's a three to one adhesive shrink tubing. I'm gonna cut three inches of it. And this one is harder to melt, uh, to shrink as well. So easily goes on top of it. Just overlap you. Careful not to melt the shielding. So we let cool down this connection here. There's a little bit of a glue that's oozing out, which is hardened. It's, it's very strong and protects the cable very well. So I can put these guys on. So over here, what I like to do is I have cut to two pieces, uh, two inches long, and I will cover my banana plugs so they don't twist off. Um, and I don't get any shorts to prevent any shorts from happening. Careful with the heat here because it's, uh, it'll melt this guy and it'll bubble up. This is very good. It's getting nice and hard. You have to do the same thing on the other side, but first uh, we'll, cut, we'll cut this braid on the other. So I'm gonna mark seven and a half inches, which is somewhere around here, because uh, when I cut this uh, snake cable off, uh, braiding, I will scar the cable. But uh, I'll be cutting the cable eight inches. So uh, if I scar the cable shield at seven and a half from the end of it, then that will be garbage anyways. If you're gonna cut the uh, braiding shield before, I suggest you cut it uh, one inch longer than you need it. Let's say you needed uh, 97 inches, cut it 98 inches long because uh, it expands and contracts a little bit. This one's pretty much fitted to my cable. You can just slide it back a little bit and it will, the slack will be uh, distributed across the line, that's fine. So now you can uh, find out your uh, actual cut size and do the same thing you, uh, you did on the other side. All right, folks, so I'm done with my amp end side. Uh, I got two eight inch leads here and uh, I will put these um, markers on just to build up the cable a little bit, just to differentiate the amp end from the speaker end. So why not give it a little color? So the blue piece was inch and a half, and I also have inch and a half for the red and the black. The snakes are done, baby. So thanks for watching the video, and I hope that you have the confidence to build your own pair and avoid spending uh, maybe a few hundred do dollars for um, what is basically uh, shown in here. The only thing about uh, this build that I would change is just getting a slightly better shrink tube for my uh, leads here. I will spec one out at the end of this video, but the one I bought is very nice still. If you have a heat gun, it will work uh, way better. Check out the description of the video for the parts list. Uh, go to my website, uh, onemandiy.com for more information on the parts and why I did some things in a certain way. I needed a longer run of cables. Uh, my amp and terminals are further back and I couldn't plug in my uh, reference cable that I had made years ago. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and uh, hope, hope to see you next time. Take care.